morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new I have noticed we've got a few new subscribers so welcome thank you so much for subscribing it means a lot to me that you want to come along and join this journey join the community and really tackle those struggles that we're all facing so speaking of struggles this week has been a bit of a rough one for us here um We've just been hit with, we've had teething, I've had that house inspection, um, we've had temperatures with Lucy, uh, Ryan ended up really sick, he got uh, just a throat infection, but he was having very high temperatures from that and he needed to get antibiotics to help it and then Jackson ended up catching it but thankfully we caught it early. He started the antibiotics and it's pretty much already cleared. So, so that's the first struggle we've been dealing with. The next one for myself is just from the weekend sort of onwards, I really didn't have much of a chance to just breathe and relax. So Thursday, I didn't go to work because of that. And I just wasn't in a mental state to go to work because I just haven't had that chance to just breathe I've really been struggling this week especially with my thoughts my thoughts have been a massive devil to me <laughs> this week I have been feeling so down about myself but more so about myself as a parent uh, I've just been feeling like I'm failing my kids especially when it comes to Eating healthy, I am going to talk about it because I know a lot of people don't tend to talk about this sort of thing. But like this, this is what I want just to become a bit more normal is having people talk about their struggles because I feel like when you talk about it, it does become easier. This week, I've just been feeling like the biggest failure of a person because when it comes to my kids' healthy eating, like this week just has not been it, <laughs> you know? Like I know... We all go through those times where everything is just so overwhelming and your kids end up having like takeaway after takeaway and I know that's something that I can't always help but then I just feel like I feel so terrible because I know that my brain isn't functioning the same way as a neurotypical person's brain and I know that... It's not easy for me to meal plan. It's not easy for me to meal prep. It's just, even just coming up with like morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, snacks in between, even coming up with that sort of routine for the kids, especially when they're at home, is a big struggle for me. And I end up feeling so guilty. I feel like the worst person in the world. I know I can't help it. And I think that's what frustrates me is even more. It's because I want nothing more than to be super organized with that sort of thing and making sure that my kids are getting a good balanced diet with obviously some snacks in between. I'm not going to be super strict on sugar or anything like that. I'm going to allow them to have it, but I also need them to have that balance of the good stuff as well. And this week has been really bad for that I've definitely been battling those demons in my head this week yeah it just it just brings me back to my last video if you have not watched it I will leave it up in the i card for you Hi. go watch it because that really talks about some other struggles that I've had especially for this week I've just been having a lot of struggles this week with my ADHD my mental health and everything um, if you're wondering what that crunching is it's just Jackson eating a prawn chip <laughs> He still has the band-aid on his head, but we're going to try and take it off today. Yeah. yeah. We've got to try and take it off today because the glue is ready to come off. It's been a week, so the glue is ready to naturally come off, but we need to take the band-aid off for that to happen. Is the glue sticker on real fast? So the glue helps to... Um, stick your skin back together. Yeah. It's crazy how it works. Hi. Uh, yes, we have a bit of a fun day planned today. I know Jackson's super excited. I've told him a little bit about what we're doing. <laughs> 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 Mwah, 
you're so silly. Hey. Haven't done a whole lot to get ready yet this morning. I've actually, I've, the first thing I did when I got out of bed was actually start cleaning because <laughs> the house has already started to get messy from the inspection. Um, and in my last video that I've already left up in the iCard, if you want to go and watch it, um, I did a quick walk through the house of when it was clean <laughs> after an inspection. And I can tell you my house does not look like that now. <laughs> it's already nearly back to how it was looking before I cleaned. Um, Mess-wise, not so much like dirtiness of the floor being vacuumed or mopped or anything. But mess-wise, it is already looking quite, um, <laughs> quite messy. So I did a quick tidy up. So one of the changes that we have actually made that is kind of contributing to the mess um is we got rid of this buffet that was here it was the back panel on it was just breaking and the drawers were constantly getting stuck and i didn't like it so we got rid of that i managed to empty everything out of there but i don't have a spot for like any of it so i've obviously got like my baking trays and everything here i did find a spot for like all the other baking stuff which is in the top of that cupboard up there um but then i've also got this little dumping ground so that's where some of the other bits went um and then the rest of it is actually in the bedroom between like bags and stuff because it's all um like files or warranty cards things like that so i really want to get like a small set of drawers or a very small filing cabinet for the bedroom uh especially since we've got the computer and printer and everything set up in here so I want something in here to put the file system but I was starting to get ready and I think someone's um a bit tired I think she's just about ready for her nap oh should we go have a sleep you need down? no you're not you're not grabbing my phone no thank you all right well this is asleep now I'm gonna finish my coffee because it's just about cold now because again mum life <laughs> am I right um and then I'm probably gonna get Jackson ready first I've got to get him dressed brush his teeth all that fun stuff um and then I've got to get myself ready I'm probably gonna have a quick shower first um, and then just wait for Lucy to wake up and then I'll get her ready we're not in a rush to get to the festival quickly or anything uh, it goes from like 12 to 8 and I would like to stay until 8 to see the fireworks but Ryan does meal prepping for work today plus we've got work tomorrow so it's not going to be good to wait until 8 o'clock and there's going to be a lot of people waiting till 8 o'clock so then the traffic's going to be bad it's going to take a while to get home um we've still got to get a few bits of groceries and stuff so we're actually going to go a bit earlier um Probably gonna aim to get there for about one to two o'clock ish. And someone's already awake. It was only about a 20 minute, half an hour nap, but that's okay. She most likely have another one later. And now we've got to get this really well dressed. Yes, we gotta get you dressed. We gotta get you dressed. And one, two, three. And we're done. We're all done. And now we've got to get this little guy ready. We finally got the band-aid off of his head. Hey. Hi. 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 All right, well, are we ready to go? Yay. Yay.
sit in this like little corner area because it's just getting very hot. And silly me, I forgot the kids' hats. And we are at the lights. We're probably See? gonna head off now, but if someone wants to get some ice cream first. Yeah. He's just being silly now. But yeah, he's he went on this inflatable truck thing like ten times. And I think it's worn him out a little bit. So he's ready to go because he's getting too hot. And he won a prize with the ducks. So he's had a good good little time. This one on the other hand. has been a menace, as you can probably see. So, I'm probably just gonna head to the shop now and go home. I don't know what else, so. Not even two minutes later. Hi. Hi. <laughs> She's even got it all on her pram. There's a very good reason why I like to do my shopping online because when we left the festival we went across the road to the shops there and I don't like going to that shops unless I'm only getting a couple of things um, and even today we didn't need to get much but it just gets so crowded in there and pretty much every single aisle has like a big pole in it and so each aisle is really only single laned really like it's it's just very hard to navigate and then when it gets very busy people are just stopping everywhere and it gets very crowded but because of that it makes me get so extremely overwhelmed and then I start getting cranky at everyone and just get very very snappy I hate it so you know they they say that sometimes shopping online can be a little bit more expensive especially because you've also got to pay for the delivery costs and everything but I know for myself, I end up saving money and it also really helps my mental yeah. health. And also with time management, like I can just, I usually quickly do it on a Sunday night to be delivered on Tuesday. <clears throat> and that just means I don't have to go and waste like up to two to two and a half hours in the shop, especially if I've got both the kids with me, which can really set my anxiety off even more. Hi. So, hi. <laughs> but anyway, did you have a good day today, Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. We had a good day. I didn't get to go on any rides, but that's all right. Jackson went on that inflatable like 10 times and he loved it. So that's all that counts, hey? I wanted to go on the jumping. Like, I wanted to go on the jumping. You went on that a few times, didn't you? I went on the truck in the Paw Patrol. Yeah. And I started to go on the thing you like that. Like that. That one. He, yeah. Well, I actually had sisters. <laughs> we just had some bubble tea and he finished off the rest of the little popping pills that I had in the bottom of mine. Yeah. And he popped a few of them on his hands, so then his hands were all sticky. But anyway, we are at Mum's now, and we're really not doing much more from here. So, to save you guys some boredom, we're going to head off. And I will see you in the next one, which will probably be on Wednesday. Not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm home from work on Wednesdays. I've got Lucy with me. So I'm sure we'll think of something to do. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you want to join our little community of being open about our mental health um, and just talking about it more. So if you want to join that sort of community, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.